All right, I'm going into the mine, and a little safety tip is always have three points of contact. It's a nice slide. Or just don't die. Don't die. <laughs> if you can hike, you can walk underground in the cave. <sighs> Ooh. Andrew Ford, he's an expert caver and the chairman of Met Grotto, a caving organization. And they agreed to take me out, get me suited up into some gear, and took me underground. We got a bat, so we'll move quickly. Oh, there's a snake. Oh, how <laughs> Whoa, come through. <laughs> so caving is a sport. They took me on what they called a beginner's cave, and to me, it did not feel that way. Uh, there are three rules of caving. Keep up with your group. You my man, you can oh make it. Oh my gosh. You think I can fit it? You can make it. Never leave your pack behind. And look out for number one. sat down, you put your feet, and you pushed yourself across a ravine. On the other side, I noticed that it was about a 40 to 60 foot drop. I needed to see how people did this. Yeah, there's spiders all over. We're right by these walls. Good. I mean, there was a lot of things that I needed to learn in order to scale these walls, in order to get my body underneath these tight spaces. Watch out for the bass again. Everybody's going to see different challenges and be ready for them or not. So that everybody, I expect them to take personal responsibility over themselves. Now we explored a quarry and then we went to one of the most exhilarating spots, which was an old mine. Wow. So my first challenge was going through a tunnel that was about 11 inches. feet in these 11 inches and you can hear me because it's pitch dark and I have my GoPro on my head and you can see just where my GoPro and you can't even army crawl you're kind of like this you're kind of going like you you're any panic attack was there I got about 20 feet in and this is where you have to take control of your brain I, ha I started to feel panicky and you start to breathe heavy and I knew that then it was getting too tight so I had to back myself out before I could get into a trouble spot. All right, I'm coming back out. Yeah. Thank you. I want to highlight because they want to make sure that I highlight. Stay safe. Don't just do this for fun. Go with experts. It's serious. It's a sport. If you want to go, go to their website. They will take you out. Floyd Collins, cave explorer in Kentucky, got stuck in Sand Cave in a really weird position. He was wedged between two rocks about 125 feet from the entrance. They just couldn't get him out, and he actually got stuck. They were bringing down food to him, but a cave-in happened, and he died of exposure. Wow. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. It was exhilarating and a really unique experience to go underground. You see stuff that you've never seen before, and you get to see how these caves were formed. Oh, that is fun. Spelunk. That is, that's a spelunk.